Good afternoon, everyone. This is an update on Tropics for September 10th, 2022. We still have Hurricane Earl with 90 mile per hour winds. It is very far north in the Atlantic. And we also do have an area to watch coming off of Africa as well as a tropical wave that is not highlighted by the National Hurricane Center, but that is still southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. Uh, let's get right into it here. We do have, again, those tropical waves right now in the main development region. We have one that is not on uh, water right now, but is still on the land of Africa. And that is the area to watch here for the next five days. That is a 30% chance for development throughout that main development region. Now we do have Hurricane Danielle up here. Still has 90 mile per hour winds and it is expected to weaken. As you can see, with a lot of that convection, uh, pretty much just kind of lingering and spreading away uh, from this low pressure system, it is going to weaken a lot faster uh, now that it doesn't really have much convection at all uh, to go off of. But you can see that center right there very clearly just to the east of Nova Scotia. We do have some a lot of convection here actually in the gulf of mexico and uh this is definitely not anything tropical there's really not much we don't see any circulation with it it is mainly just gulf thunderstorms that's going on right now uh, but some of these thunderstorms are impacting florida throughout today so maybe some flash flooding could be a potential with lightning and stuff like that here's the national hurricane center the five-day graphical tropical weather I look there's hurricane earl far up north east of nova scotia uh we do have 90 mile per hour winds still a minimum central pressure of 960 millibars so it's still quite a strong hurricane but just not much convection at all with it right now um as you can see located around 42.9 north 53.0 west and movement is north northeast that's 25 knots or 29 miles per hour we do have the disturbance a 30 percent chance of development within the next five days and uh, we can read that there a tropical wave is forecast to move off the west coast of africa on monday Gradual development on of the wave will be possible during the early to middle part of next week while it moves westward or west northwestward over the eastern tropical Atlantic Ocean. So the National Hurricane Center does expect some gradual development uh, over as we head into midweek as this makes its way across the mid main development region. As you can see, this is going to be headed quite eastward and really not much northwestward as we could see some high pressure systems uh, potentially bringing it westward towards the leeward islands we're gonna have to look at the models for this though to actually verify this um and we actually do have like i said a wave a tropical wave that is not uh located by the national hurricane center but this was actually had a 10 percent chance of development but they did kind of delete that uh due to i guess wind shear and uh, dry air concerns but there is a tropical wave right now as you can see it has a low pressure system on this euro model um, and uh, that does have a little bit of rain around it. It does have those uh, rain showers. Um, and we do have Hurricane Earl, of course, up there all the way far north. And that is pretty much just going to broaden out over time and weaken from there. Now, according to the Euro model, it doesn't have that tropical wave which with much development at all. That's why the National Hurricane Center doesn't believe that what that will develop into anything. There's that one area to watch here. As you can see, that low pressure comes off of Africa uh, and then goes right over the Cabo Verde Islands. Now, we do have the high pressure over here. That's going to lead it actually up to the north. And like I was saying, we could see a high pressure right here. If any uh, tropical waves were coming off here, uh, and we're kind of in this region. There could definitely be a potential for both of these high pressure systems to bring that uh, far westward into the Caribbean. Now, it looks like that's not going to happen as of right now, as that is going to be around uh, three days from now. So uh, that's likely not to happen. But this uh, high pressure guidance is definitely giving some chances uh, to these tropical waves. They are just not executing it correctly to head west, which is always good. Um, but again, these are mainly going to be fish storms as of right now. As we head throughout September 20th, it looks like most of these tropical waves will be fish storms um as of right now now the euro and the gfs model doesn't really have much development at all with these tropical waves um uh, but uh, as we look at another one of these models here this is a cmc model um and we can even move forward here and this model actually does have a lot of development typically uh with these uh, tropical waves this is around september 20th as you can see we have a one development we have two development there even a possible development over here off the east coast 
Um, so it does have a lot of development here around September 20th. And today is the peak of hurricane season. So it's a little tad bit quiet uh, for the peak of hurricane season. Um, but we did see Category 2 Hurricane Earl. We did see uh, Hurricane Danielle off far north. Uh, just didn't make landfall anywhere. Um, but that doesn't mean the hurricane season is uh super quiet now it is a little bit bro below average but it's not super quiet here uh, as it is that peak hurricane season we are going to see more storms uh we are going to see uh, storms here throughout the rest of september even into october uh november 1st i do believe that is the end of hurricane season but we've seen storms in december um for crying out loud so we're going to continue to watch the tropics until november 1st uh, and still keep monitor uh the, on the tropics in december as historically we've seen some crazy things you know in the past uh, regarding the tropics here's the icon model as you can see the icon model does have a little bit of development but really not any strong development on these uh, tropical waves uh, it does have those low pressure systems appearing clearly there and it does have these going a little far west taking advantage of those high pressures um, and making a close approach there to the lesser antilly islands like i said the gfs model i looked at this and we really do not have much development at all with these tropical waves we have uh one in the gulf uh, which is around september 26th that is 300 hours out so we're going to ignore that for right now as that will likely disappear within the next run as it is over 300 hours out we don't really know what's going to happen 150 hours out so that is just really unreasonable to look at that far out with this gfs model as the gfs model is a uh, very uh, typical on things uh, i mean it could overhype things or it could vary under hype things uh it could either be in between those two it's just kind of one of those wacky models uh and the farther you go out as you can see according to tropical tidbits it does say the remnants of Earl. it is still a hurricane but it is now the remnants since it is so far north and there's really not much convection wrapping around here as you can see here's the infrared satellite imagery for this and you can clearly see a very strong center with this a lot of those mid-level clouds still wrapping around that um but as you can see a lot of this convection was actually over that center um the earlier this morning now it is just kind of shifting away which is not going to protect the center at all from any potential wind shear and dry air this far north that there's really not much dry air or wind shear this far north um but it, 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 even a little bit of wind shear this will affect this low pressure since it is really not protected at all uh with that thunderstorm activity now let's go look at the sst values uh we look at this every few days to just keep an eye on the waters and what's really interesting about hurricanes here is they take uh warm waters and leave cool waters look at this you can see hurricane earl uh its path it took here uh throughout the atlantic and it really took up a lot of warm waters here across just south of bermuda and you're getting down to 26 celsius waters Those, that's pretty cool here for this area um and as you can see around bermuda here we have again more cooler waters um just because uh, hurricanes just take it up and then they don't leave any warm water sustained we can see um uh, from hurricane ida last year uh, there was a substantial area of cooler waters across uh, the coast of Louisiana because it just took up all of it. I think that's very interesting to say the least. Now, uh, as you can see, we still have extremely warm waters in the Gulf and it's still primed for any tropical wave that does decide to enter the Caribbean or even the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, these waters are still just very primed of uh to really strengthen a tropical storm or tropical wave we just haven't really seen that scenario yet this year and we probably might not even see that scenario we're just gonna have to watch the tropics uh, for right now as they are looking pretty quiet right now but they are going to get active again uh probably in uh, the second half of september if you did enjoy the video be sure to subscribe to the channel if you, you won't miss a single daily tropical update make sure to share this video with any friends or family like the video um and uh leave a comment uh, we do have super thanks and join uh the join button if you do want to support the channel even more and help upgrade video quality and equipment if you would like but as always i'll see you in the next one stay safe